In this video we take a detailed look at new lift logic. Now new lift logic is a generic logic you get quite a bit in the UK and it's quite a bit different to other generic logics like Leicester and Thames Valley and ILE. It's quite a different feel to it. It has a sort of more sort of high level operating system feel. It has arrow keys and an enter button you navigate using these keys and it actually has a help screen so as you go through the settings it tells you what different settings do. So it's a little bit like the most recent Thames Valley where it actually, where it actually like tells the engineer what it needs doing and stuff like that. And this logic has quite a few features. This logic is famous for its text-to-speech voice. So it's quite weird, as far as I know it's the only logic that actually features a text-to-speech voice, it's quite weird. This logic uses a shaft encoder and the logic knows the lift's the exact position, it knows exactly how far above the floor above is and exactly how far below the floor below is. But despite this, it's not that efficient, it depends how well it's set up. A lot of the time these logics are just set up and run just like a bog standard two-speed lift despite having a shaft encoder. But if a lift engineer knows what they're doing and sets it up well and it's coupled to the right VF drive, the Zola Beg drive which it works best with, it can actually run a bit more efficient and actually it's not as good as like M series but it does actually slow down to a floor with a more sort of intelligent levelling feel but it doesn't really quite compare to Schindler standards. This logic has quite a few other interesting features such as as well as pre-doors it also has pre-start the only generic logic there is the feature pre-start but it's never actually used it's got setting for pre-start of just the VF and pre-start for VF and brake so that's where it starts VF and releases the brake before the doors are shut and once the doors are shut it then can immediately move the lift a lot quicker but in this setting doesn't work I think it needs an extra module plugged in but this settings never used and there's a couple other efficiency settings on it are also never used at all quite a bit different to your usual genetic logic it's used by quite a few lift companies and in this video we've got a special guest to talk us through all of the different settings that this logic has service obviously is foul lock no errorless no failures English is a bit shit on this logic clear foul lock disenables or disables the foul lock blinking when the fouls appeared the test reset and obviously that and the logic is so then we got drive obviously lots of drive settings you can get into the drive menu like this as well oh so you're now controlling the vf drive yes so you're controlling the vf drive now yeah if i go out of that again we got configurations just like priority settings and stuff and park mode and everything like all configuration and stuff chime ids group settings car light and stuff positioning is obviously Floor positions and stuff. Then we got uh, releveling limits and stuff. Shaft pseudo lock. floors. He actually called it pseudo floors. This point now, you might not know. He actually called it pseudo floors. Then we got calls, obviously. So it says door A to position. The lift should stay at for floor A is door closed. It could also say door disabled and the floor will be locked off. And we got special call mode, which is a normal lift boy mode. System is obviously just boring stuff. Doors, so doors basic. We've got some basic door settings there. We've got how many times it should reopen when it doesn't close. Pre opening, obviously, yes. Fast close, does never work correctly. Photo set stuff. Door selective is just some other door settings. <coughs> then we got lock menu. If I do this, the menu is now locked. Now, if I press enter, it now enters the password, but since I have actually changed. Password will be 0000 and it's not unlocked again. Uh, then, if we are in this normal screen, if I press this button there, it goes into the test menu which cannot be locked. You can lock the doors to foul reset, uh, send it to different floors. If I do this again, I'll enter a call to somewhere, then just turn this back off. It's not going. This is cool. And now, this logic can be connected to a laptop through a serial port. So let's connect up the laptop and see what interface the laptop has to work with the logic. from the left eye. It's just connecting now, it's like, what? Oh, is this USB port on the Sometimes it does this, it's working. Yes, it's working. So it's connected to the left, is it? Yeah. Yes. Six cents. What I do now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! Shows what part of safety is connected, what isn't. Oh wow. Do 
Let's see if I can open the doors there. Yes. Doors don't open. Oh, he locked the doors. Let's unlock the doors again. Unlock. It's not opening it yet. Off the It's meant it's meant to show where it's going. As well as working for Logic, the laptop can actually interface to the Logic through the serial port and then interface from that to the VF drive, meaning the laptop can control the VF drive without actually even being connected to VF. It controls it through the new Leaf Logic and then the new Leaf Logic then controls the settings in the VF drive. That is a feature I've not seen on any other lift. Great, you're controlling that to the VF drive. You're controlling the VF drive through your... And when there's a set of three lifts, the logic shows all three lifts and you can change the settings on each of the three lifts, not just the lift that the laptop's plugged into. That is a very interesting feature. So you can control all three lifts that just the lift is plugged into. Right now I'm controlling this lift, so if I enter a call to the floor below, this lift will start moving. Thank <laughs> you.